Good morning, everybody. Breakfast of champions. Just waiting to get loaded. We're gonna throw some freight on the trailer behind me. I have an empty step deck and we'll be off to Minnesota. We have to tarp it, so shouldn't take shouldn't take too long. We get loaded, we'll tarp it, we'll be on our way. And we're trucking. So it looks like we're gonna be doing a little bit of back and forth here between Minnesota and Kenora throughout this week. We're gonna deliver this load tonight yet. Get this freight off my trailer, run back up to Kenora, load there tomorrow, deliver another one down to Minnesota, that same load, to Minnesota the next day. And then come back up to Kenora and grab another one. So we're going back and forth, back and forth. It's a nice little road, I like it. It's off the main highways. It's quiet. Keeps me busy and gets me home for the appointments we have coming up. Works out good. Lots of tarping though. But that's okay, at least they make it easy on us, right? I was explaining that yesterday. Tarping these loads and untarping, not really that bad. It's nothing to complain about. It's the easiest possible tarping that you can ask for. We made it. I'm gonna grab some fuel at the Casey's truck stop. Just on the east side of town. Fuel here is about 30 cents cheaper per liter. Take the next right on the 14th Avenue Northeast, then your destination will be on the left. Save quite a bit of money by fueling here instead. Your destination is on the left. I see that, thank you. I haven't fueled here before, so this will be new. Pretty uneventful drive down. Nothing to really report. Saw a couple of deer on the road, didn't hit them. That was the trip. That was the that was the day. That was the excitement for the day. It's gonna oh yes. It's been very warm though, so that's good. It's about three degrees Celsius, probably about 40 Fahrenheit. Everything's melting. I don't know if you can hear that. The water dripping. Maybe the mics aren't picking it up. That's the snow melting all around us. It's a wonderful, beautiful sound. Beautiful. It's like the sound of angels. Melting snow. 
Okay. Fill up the tanks and go deliver our freight. And book it back up to Kenora. Okay, so what I was charged here for diesel fuel in, at Casey's and Brainerd was $4.09 or four oh eight nine per U.S. gallon, which uh, with exchange rate and converted to liters is $1.453 per liter in Canadian. So it cost me $594.99 American, cost me $800.33 Canadian. So let's say in here. So it's $1.453. Price back in Canada was $1.99.9. We're going to take our fancy calculatory device, $1.99.9, subtract $1.453, save myself. 55 cents a liter or 54.6 cents per liter today i bought 550 liters 0.811 i saved myself exactly 300 dollars and 74 cents fueling here as opposed to this morning in kenora i'm going back to kenora tonight and i'm coming back down again the next day and uh, i'll be fueling down here again save myself 300 dollars canadian uh, which is probably like $250 American or so. Okay. Well, yeah, fuel is a lot cheaper down here in the U.S. That is for sure. Good. I feel good about myself. I made an extra 300 bucks today. Well, technically, I didn't make that $300. I just didn't spend that $300. Had I fueled up this morning, that $300 would have been spent and in the pockets of some billionaire who owns the gas station up there at Petro Pass, you know, would have been in his pocket. But no, I kept that $300 for myself. By fueling here in Minnesota. Thanks, Minnesota. Appreciate that. I'm gonna go deliver my freight now, feeling good about my, my decision. And I got pretty good fuel economy. 6.58 miles per US gallon. Not bad, Old Blue. Not bad. Empty. Back to Kenora we go. Probably get there around like 2 in the morning. stay in Deer River, Minnesota on the way up, but eh, that'll make for a longer day tomorrow, but hey, my hours will be better then though, right? And I'm not driving to all hours of the night, we'll see. US 53 and then turn left in 900 meters. My washer fluid doesn't want to work. International Falls, Minnesota, once again, across into Fort Francis. There's a truck parked right here on the road. I wonder what he's doing. curtains right there in the lane of traffic. Huh. Why not at least pull onto one of these side streets and get out of traffic? How strange is that, eh? Don't forget to subscribe, tune in, and uh, I look forward to the future of making many more videos for you, you here on the internet. Take care everybody, I'll see you tomorrow.